when my brother died, um, I was months or weeks away from turning in my own mission papers. And so immediately uh, jumped to everyone's minds, I guess, the question, are you going to serve a mission? And it surprised me how many people asked me that. My aunts and uncles, who all of their children had served missions and were very faithful, asked me, are you going to serve a mission? And to me, serving a mission had always been a definite, like, yes, you know. And suddenly it became very optional to me. Um, I felt like nobody would ever say anything bad about me if I didn't serve a mission. Everyone would understand. And it was kind of like this escape route. And um, there were a lot of nights that I spent just pleading with my Heavenly Father, I, I want to do this, but I'm afraid. And I'm afraid of what it might do to my family. I'm afraid of what might happen to me. And the answer was very clear that I did need to serve a mission. And so I kind of just had to put that aside and, you know, literally trust in Heavenly Father's plan. And I put my mission papers in. And the beginning of my mission was rough, I think, because of that, because I was scared and I was very emotional still. It had been, you know, seven or eight months since my brother had died. And, um, but as I continued to serve my mission, I felt like he was there for me. Um, my stake president had told me before I left that, um, he would be there for me. And when I got to my mission, my mission president told me, he pulled me aside and he told me, you will always be in a threesome elder walker, um, because your brother will always be right beside you. And I had... I had so many wonderful experiences because of that. Some of them are very personal, but um, just knowing that he was there beside me and that he was still doing missionary work was um, something that I definitely treasured a lot during my mission. Um, I think also I gained a stronger testimony of the plan of salvation because of my experience. And I could relate so much better to so many people um, who go through s such similar things, some, so many things worse than that, who, whose hearts are broken and their lives are shattered. Um, but I was able to, to relate to them and to share my experiences with them and to you know, cry with those people. And I think that it really strengthened me overall. It was hard, but I would say to anyone who has had any sort of similar experience, you know, it, it's worth it. Your testimony we strengthen so much because of the sacrifices that you may make. Um, and I know that there's more to this life than, than just this life and that we'll be reunited again. And I think I would regret it so much if I had decided not to serve a mission. So I think I learned, I think I personally learned so much from having that experience in my life.